Saturday morning, all my Rolexers out there. This is Eric, the Rolexer, here with you just outside of downtown Woodstock off of uh, Eagle Drive, which is just up the road from Town Lake Parkway. And we are in front of a abandoned Burger King, which just recently was abandoned. I don't know exactly what the reason was. It was probably one of those underperforming stores. And uh, I just noticed the other day, I actually worked down in this part of Cherokee County and happened to look over here, noticed that the signs were down and there was no cars in the parking lot. And I thought this would be a good place to have a abandoned video. So obviously I'm still doing some of these abandoned videos out here. So we're fixing to get out and explore this place. So come along and join us if you will. Well, here's your abandoned uh, Burger King front of it. And as you can tell, it is uh, abandoned. All the uh, letters and, and signage is down around the building. And uh, even though it looks like the lights are still on. And there's the old Burger King sign, the signless sign here. But there is the Burger King. We'll walk around here. you can tell there is the where the logo used to go up there in that little architectural piece sticking out from the side of the building yeah we'll walk on around here It looks like this area right here that we're coming up on is what used to be maybe the uh, play area for the kids. I'm not really sure. I hadn't been in this place too many times myself. Get a wide angle. It might have. It might have used to be a play area, but it looks like uh, they just turned it into some extra seating area. For the place we'll walk over here and look around oh there's some iconic stuff right there and what does this say unfortunately burger king location 13068 will be closing its doors for good we have relocated to wade green location feel free to come see us at our new location we appreciate your dedication to burger king so they have not completely closed they just changed location so that's what why they closed this store down they moved down the road which is good which is good i liked burger king didn't have any really thing against it except <laughs> the prices are rather high uh, for the burgers stopped one time and, and that's been a while ago and uh gosh it was 10 or 12 dollars for a meal uh, of course, I've got a regular Whopper and onion rings and drink. And I think I might have gotten a, a pie, too. So I guess all of that added up, it come up pretty pretty expensive. But as you can see, all of the, the tables and booths and everything are still there. The drink machine is gone. Uh, go in just a little bit here. Hoping y'all can see this. All right, we'll walk on around here. I think this is just another dining area. It might have, it might have had play equipment in here at one time. Not really sure. Kind of hard to see in there for the reflection. The 
little walk on around here. Looking at the back end of the building and the drive through here. They had a big parking lot back here. Like I said, I have ate here a few times. Usually went through the drive through just to grab something because I work in this area. In fact, just right up the hill is uh, Etowah High School. And uh, I used to come down here quite a bit, not to this restaurant, but there's a lot of other restaurants along Town Lake Parkway that I eat at. In fact, the one that I eat at quite often is Subway, which is right next door. This is coming out to a drive right here. You have to get back over here to the drive through stay in the parking lot and out of that drive because that's a busy drive through there. A lot of people use that to cut through from the car wash, which is, you can hear it in the background. I don't think you can see anything in here. It's got that reflective stuff on it. Yeah. This is just a Here we go. Here's a drive through right here. Yep. See if I can knock some of that. Ooh, sorry. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to get my hand in the way. Knock some of that glare off of there. Their lights are still on. Oh, there's some flashing lights up back there. Well, what was that all about? But this is the other side of that uh, booths and tables are all still there. So they're all concreted into the floor. Again, get my hand in the way, trying to knock off some of that glare. And that's a look at the Eagle Drive Burger King location here in Woodstock, Georgia. Back up here a little bit in case someone's needing to get by. But uh, not a real long video, but uh, video just the same. But there is a look at it. Well, there's your look at the Eagle Drive Burger King here in Woodstock, Georgia. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I have gained quite a few subscribers here lately. I posted one video just recently of our trip and tour through Fox Fire, if I said that right, <laughs> a museum up in extreme northeast Georgia, and it has gotten quite a bit of following. I didn't realize that there were so many people that uh, enjoyed that, but I'm glad you did and glad we've had so many new subscribers to the channel. Welcome, and I'm hoping that we'll give you some content that you, you'll you enjoy. Of course, I, I started out doing abandoned videos like this primarily, but I've also started doing other videos of uh, museums, state parks, different things like that, even some food reviews thrown in here and there. So anyway, with that being said, we're going to get on out of here and get on down the road. I know Teresa is uh, hungry. We haven't had lunch yet today, so we're going to go grab us some lunch somewhere. So with that being said, we hope you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you in our next video.